We begin our second half hour with possible legal action in the city of Tempe. A family wants the city to pay $3 million after police officers watched a homeless man drown in Tempe Town Lake. Back in May, Sean Bickings jumped into the water while police checked for warrants and begged for help that never came. Team 12's Michael Doudna joins us live in the Alert Center. And Michael, what is the family claiming? Yeah, guys, in this precursor to a lawsuit, it claims that Tempe was unprepared to save a man from drowning in the city's largest lake and reacted slowly. What's the cost of a life? You can't put a price tag on a human life. The cost on family, friends. I miss his smile. Friends like Ben Jeffrey, who remembers Sean Bickings as someone who needed help that never came. Hey, dude. Hey, please, let's go and have a seat right here for real quick for a chat. Six months ago, police respond to a call about a potential fight involving Sean and his wife. Did you guys get into a physical confrontation? No, no, no not nothing at all. like that. But officers stuck around to check for warrants when Sean what? jumped over the railing. I saw a friend of mine that was terrified of going to jail. See, just two days earlier, Sean met with the mayor and city officials about how unsheltered people could get minor warrants removed. When confronted by his fear, he fled. How far do you think he's going to be able to swim? Tempe has never released body camera footage of Sean's final moments, but a transcript says he pleaded for someone to help him, while officers reportedly told him, quote, I'm not going in after you, and restrained his wife from trying to save him. You held me back as I was trying to save his life. But these officers had no water rescue training. There were no nearby flotation devices, and a rescue boat was more than a mile away. And I've been standing here the whole time. Months later, an independent review by Scottsdale Police would find no wrongdoing by any of the officers. They could have done so many things, but they weren't trained to do anything. And that's that's the hardest part. Now, Sean's family has come forward claiming that the city should have done more, pointing to a lack of life-saving equipment nearby despite past drownings and how it took nearly six hours to go into the water to retrieve Sean's body. When the pain becomes great enough, we change. Change that for friends and family may come at the cost of a loved one, now memorialized by the lake where he lived. Sean's legacy will be uh, that he inspired change and that people will be helped uh, in light of his loss. Now, guys, it is Tempe's policy to not comment on potential litigation. But since Sean Bickings drowned, the city has outfitted every single officer with a water rescue throwback. They also say they will be installing life preserver rings around the lake in the next few months. Michael Downa, 12 News. All right, Michael, thank you.